Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video I'm going to show you an exciting new type of data that we've just added to TrendSpider. Now, we all know as investors, as traders, that things that happen in the world, in the economy as a whole, macro events as they're sometimes called, have an outsized and powerful impact on price. Um, so to help you analyze this type of data and to use it in your analysis, we've gone ahead and added over 5,000 of the Federal Reserve's economic data sets, also known as FRED data, into the platform. Now, this is all public data that's available on the government Federal Reserve website. But what we've done is we've made it part of TrendSpider so you can correlate it to the technicals and use it in your analysis more easily. It's truly an expansive amount of data. It's huge. So let me show you how it works and how to put it on your charts. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the three dots next to other data on the top toolbar. This will open the other data menu. And if you've added things like analysts or earnings or dividends or market breadth to your charts before, you're probably familiar with it. In the middle, there's a new option called Federal Reserve Economic Data. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click close. Now, what will happen at this point is it will add a lower indicator to my chart. And this is a Federal Reserve data set indicator that I can use to customize and select different types of FRED data to display in my chart. On, off the bat, it does have a few data points, so I want to highlight those. First, the white line in my settings represents the data point that I'm looking at, in this case, the Flexible Price Consumers Index, less food. Um, the pink line is a customizable level. We call it the level line that you can customize to kind of give you a balance point or a center point on your chart if you want one. And the highlighted portion in yellow is when there was an official recession. It automatically will highlight that using the government's dates for starts and stops of recessions. Now to customize this and select a different type of data, all you have to do is click on the three dots next to the chart legend. It's the very top left of the lower indicator. Right above the source accreditation, there's a little three dot menu. You can click on that and it'll open the customization window. Here you can choose a different data series. So you can type something like the fitted yield on a 10 year zero coupon bond if you wanted to, right? And get that on your chart. And here you can also customize the aggregation period. In some cases, it makes sense to measure this by an average or a max or a mean instead of the most recent number. But that's something that you can customize. We make these options available because they're commonly used by economists when looking at this type of data. I'm gonna leave it set to last. And you can also transform the data from the values that are provided by the data set to a change percent relative to the last field. And you can see how that can materially change the, the appearance of the data that you're getting and give you a very different way to look at it. Here you can also customize the position of that level line. You can just type a number here. It'll move the pink line wherever you want it to go. You can customize the colors of your lines and you can customize the highlighting color for the recessions. If you have any questions, there's a how-to link here. It'll take you to the documentation so you can read up on the appropriate and best use case for this. And that's basically it. It's available for you on all our plans free of charge as part of being a TrendSpider user. I hope you find this useful. Um, we had a lot of fun building this. We spent a lot of time on it, so we tried to make it as useful and robust as possible. And uh, we have a number of interesting updates to the other data section that are coming up in addition to this, so stay tuned for more. Thank you. Have a great day. Take it easy.